Hi, my name is Patrick Fry. I am a member of the Oracle Coherence development team. For this presentation, I'll be talking about one of the new features that we introduced in Coherence 371. This feature is Extend Only Custom Key Classes. First, I'll be describing this new feature, the ability to define custom key classes in the Coherence Extend client in 371 without needing to define these classes in the Coherence cluster. Next, I'll be talking about how key association is handled differently compared to prior releases. There are still use cases where a parallel Java class implementation is required. I'll be going over those. Next, I'll, be ta I'll talk about how to specify to make key association processing work as it does in earlier releases and what happens when extend clients from older release versions of Coherence connect to a 371 or later Coherence cluster. Finally, I'll provide some pointers for where you can go if you want further details about this feature and Oracle Coherence in general. With prior releases, the Coherence cluster would deserialize all keys that were received from Coherence Extend clients. The cluster would then determine if the key class implemented key association to determine partition assignment. Note that this was done for every key, even for simple keys like strings or integers. Now, in Coherence, 371, the Coherence Extend client does the key association check and partition assignment processing. When the cluster receives the key, it no longer needs to deserialize it for partition assignment. This improves cluster performance and the cluster no longer needs an implementation of the key class just for simple gets and puts. This is especially useful for custom key classes used by .NET and C++ Extend clients. In many cases, it will no longer be necessary to implement a parallel Java implementation for those .NET or C++ classes. So, what are the impacts on key association processing? As I already noted, the Extend client is now performing the key association processing, saving processing time in the Coherence cluster. This means that if you want to set up key association for a key class used by Extend clients, that key association must be defined in the extend client. In prior releases, the association was required to be defined in the cluster. If you still want the cluster to do the key association processing, for example, if you have an existing deployment that is already set up to do key association and you are upgrading to 371 and don't want to set up key association in the extend clients, then you can set the defer key association check flag. I'll provide details on how to do that later in this presentation. There are still cases where a parallel Java implementation of the key class is required. It is required if the cluster needs to deserialize the key to do some processing on it. Some examples are listed here, uh, queries, filters, entry processors and aggregators, and a data source persistence through a cache store. Now. What if you want the key association check to be performed in the cluster, as it is in prior releases? To do this, you need to specify at each extend client to defer key association processing, leaving it for the cluster to perform. You do this by setting the defer key association check element in each extend client's cache config, in the remote cache scheme element. The flag by default is false, meaning that the extend client will perform key association processing. Set the flag to true to defer to the cluster. If the parameter is true, then a parallel Java class implementation is required for all custom classes, custom key classes used by the extend client, regardless of whether the class implements key association. A Coherence 371 cluster will support connections from older version Coherence Extend clients. These older versions will not be performing the key association check and will not be decorating the serialized key with the association information. Therefore, any custom key classes used by older version Coherence Extend clients must have a parallel Java key class definition in available in the cluster. And again, if your current architecture relies on performing key association processing in the coherence cluster, then you need to set the defer key association check element to true 
in each coherence extend 371 or later client. This concludes our presentation on this new feature, Extend Only Custom Key Class Support. For more information on this feature or on Oracle Coherence in general, you can go to Oracle's webpage on Coherence or search for Oracle Coherence at search.oracle.com. Thank you for listening.